Okay, about three days ago, somebody caught on camera, on a dash cam, uh, what they said is a cougar crossing the road. Now, what a lot of people don't know, it's not only one person seeing this, it's two. It was two vehicles. And they both report the same thing. Large cat, tawny in color, tanny, tawny, I don't know how you say it. And, and with a long J-shaped tail. Now I see a lot of comments there, uh, people saying that uh, no, no, it, was, it had to be a coyote and, and this and that. Well, through the course of this video, I actually got my hands on the original footage and I was able to um, zoom it in and slow it down. I watched it frame by frame many times. And the problem is I don't think it was a high grade, like uh, right now you can get a 4K dash cam, right? Anyways, I was able to work with the footage a bit. There was some, I don't know, water droplets uh, or if it's just uh, old bug splatter marks on the windshield that helps distort the image as well. It was early in the morning. When you slow it down frame by frame, as the cat leaves the road, you can pick out a long J-shaped tail. Is it, is it crystal clear? Is it a smoking gun? Is it is it the footage that we need it? No, absolutely not because there's, there's, it's so grainy, it's so pixelated. We can't say that this is for sure 100% cougar, but I think we can rule out coyote in its posture and stuff and the way it moved. I'll link a video to a cougar prancing across the front of a person's house, you know, it crosses uh, in front of their garage, we're in, in, in between the, the vehicles and the house. And it, although it was shot at a different angle, it shows basically the same posture as the animal in question that crossed the road. And I know that people saying that they went out there and they checked the tracks and the only tracks they found was what they felt was coyote. I never got a chance to really examine the tracks. I heard, I just seen, I was reading comments, but cougars, hunt coyotes a group of coyotes will treat a, a cougar but one-on-one -on -one, the coyote goes from being a torment to being a meal it's even documented and videoed a cougar killing a wolf so uh, a coyote yeah that's a meal for a cougar so perhaps the coyote cross the, the road in front of the cat and the cat was probably looking for its meal because I guess out there around Hughes Brook there's a lot of farmland and there is a lot of coyotes in and around that area good food source for a hungry cougar what you're looking at here is the original clip 2.6 seconds long here I slow it down four times note the absence of a bushy tail or a long muzzle or high pointed ears. When the animal leaves the road, you can pick up what appears to be a long J-shaped tail. And according to the witness, it had a black tip on, on the end of it, just like a mountain lion. It's hard to tell with the bug splatter marks on the windshield. It really distorts the image. However, it appears to have a long J-shaped tail. And there is no other animal here on the island that would have a tail long enough to loop around in a J-shape with a body size of a cougar. But on the other side of the coin, the image was whitewashed from the reflection off the road and the bright skyline behind it. Here's an image of the cougar when the legs are extended and the head is a little low, the shoulders are kind of dropped a little and the hips appear to be much higher, but then you got the notable J-shape in the tail. Here we can almost depict a J-shaped tail. Here's a coyote. Note the long snout, long pointed ears, and a tail that goes about three quarters away from the hip to the ground. But it also has a black tip. Here the cougars slouch over in the middle, tail hung down by the back legs, and here's that same kind of rounded back that you've seen in the previous image. Another shot of the coyote here, black tip on the tail, three quarter length. Here the back hips do appear to be probably a slightly higher than the shoulders, but it all depends on the, I guess, posture of the animal at that time. If the coyote had his head down, the back hips would definitely appear much higher. The same as with the cougar. Here, 
you can clearly see the absence of a long snout. I did, however, find a picture of a mangy fox. A fox definitely has a tail proportionate of its body size to that of, of, of a cougar. Maybe not quite as long as a cougar, but it's, it's a full length tail. It goes from the hips down to the ground, but it has a white tip on the end and they don't jade or tail. Fox's tail is normally pretty straight running. And normally if it's a healthy fox, it's very bushy near where it leaves the hips and it tapers down smaller as it goes towards the white tip. Mountain lions, cougars, plumas, long-tailed cats are the only ones that have that J-shaped hook. Here's another picture of a coyote and it's, it's fairly even across the back there, but again, it has very long ears, pointed ears, and only a three-quarter length tail. Here, I'm just going to let these images play through one more time, and you can draw your own conclusion. When the animal is on the pavement and it's whitewashed, it probably could distort a snout. Uh, definitely, we have a hard time seeing a tail, if, if at all. It appears more lynx-like, but as soon as it leaves the road, you'll see that longer J-shaped tail. Or hints of it. I'm after looking at this footage frame by frame. I don't know how many times over the last few days. And to be perfectly honest, it's not the smoking gun that we need. The only thing that makes me believe 100% that this was a cougar is once the animal leaves the road, we get to see that J-shaped tail or hints of it and a testimony from the witness. And not only one witness, but two reports seeing the same thing. But is it the smoking gun that we all hope to get? A good, high quality definition, undisputed footage? No, it's not. But with the testimony and with the footage, I believe wholeheartedly, 100%, they have a good, sound lion or cougar sighting here.